Happy Halloween! Jumping right into the Nancy Downs transformation, I am grabbing the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale palette and applying this warm brown eyeshadow into my crease, eyelids, and under my eyes as well. Next, I am grabbing the gray eyeshadow and applying it along my lashes to intensify the smoky grunge eye makeup Nancy has in the film. Now for the most iconic part, I am grabbing the Pretty Vulgar Ink Eyeliner and applying it literally all around my eye. Don't try to make this perfect because this was the late 90s, nothing was perfect about the liner in this era. We used to melt down an intense cold black liner with a lighter and apply it fast before school. Next, I am using some magic to change my eye color from brown to blue to look more like Nancy. Next step is to apply a pale foundation to match her complexion. I am using the Etude foundation and applying it onto my face and neck. Just be sure to not load on too much, a doll eye complexion was not important in the 90s as it is now, especially for Nancy Downs. Grabbing the ink liner once again, I am actually using it to fill in my eyebrows. Yes, this was a thing back then. The thinner, darker, and more arched your eyebrows looked, the cooler you were. And I'm unfortunately still growing out my eyebrows from the serious overplucking I've done years ago. Onto the lips, I am using this perfect replica color from Carity. It's a nice wine red, just like in the movie. I am overlining the heck out of my lips, making sure my top lip is arched and the corners of my mouth are lined to attain that long, sinister grin. Such an iconic smile. Moving on to contour, I am using a contour powder and applying it under my nose to flatten it and make it appear more upturned. And I am also applying it to the sides of my nose and I am also applying it a little bit past my nose bridge line to replicate her nose shape a little bit better. And to complete the illusion, I am applying highlighter to the nose tip.
Now my jaw got a little bit lost in the pale foundation, so I am contouring my jawline and I am applying the same contour on top of my cheekbones to make my face appear more round but also tall. Of course we cannot forget about her iconic beauty mark and her notorious nose ring. And we're done! You're just jealous. Jealous? Jealous? You don't even exist to me! You are nothing. You are shit. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you're going to replicate it, make sure you tag me on Instagram at jbunzi so I can see how it came out. And be sure to check out my merch at www.jbunzi.com because I came out with a witch-themed line. It's all vintage and witchy and perfect for the season, so make sure you grab your merch before it all sells out. Also be sure to like this video so I know you guys want me to do more videos like this. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so I can see you in my next one.